The heavens declare the glory of God. The skies proclaim the work of His hands. Day after day they pour forth speech. Night after night they display knowledge. There is no speech or language where their voice is not heard. Their voice goes out unto all the earth. Their words unto the ends of the world. approaching uh, lunar sunrise and uh, for all the people back on earth the crew of Apollo 8 has a message that we would like to send to you in the beginning God created the heaven and the earth and the earth was without form and void and darkness was upon the face of the deep and the spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters and God said, Let there be light. And there was light. And God saw the light, that it was good. And God divided the light from the darkness. And God called the light day. And the darkness he called night. And the evening and the morning were the first day. And God said, Let there be a firmament in the midst of the waters. Let it divide the waters from the waters. And God made the firmament, and divided the waters which were under the firmament from the waters which were above the firmament. And it was so. And God called the firmament heaven, and the evening and the morning were the second day. <laughs> God said, Let the waters under the heaven be gathered in together into one place and let the dry land appear, and it was so. And God called the dry land earth, and the gathering together of the waters called these seas. And God saw that it was good. And from the crew of Apollo 8, we close with good night, good luck, a Merry Christmas, and God bless all of you, all of you on the good earth. The land reflecting the events of the past several days, a verse from the Psalms comes to mind to me. I consider the heavens, the work of thy fingers, the moon and the stars which thou hast ordained. What is man that thou art mindful of him? Oh, look at the mountains today, Jim, when they're all sunlit. Isn't that beautiful? It really is. By golly, that's just super. It's, you know, unreal. Hey, I'm reminded of a favorite biblical passage from Psalm. I look unto the hills, from whence cometh my help. ever wish that you could more powerfully, succinctly, and accurately speak to the message of your Christian faith and the Word of God? This is the book you need, The Magic Man in the Sky, Effectively Defending the Christian Faith. This book has been featured on TBN, Atlanta Live, dozens of radio programs, and hundreds of markets. It was rave-reviewed by the Washington Times, and it was called a must-read book. Considering the times in which we now live, you need this book. Get it today on Amazon.com or the WND Superstore.